Hi there. In this lecture, we're looking at, it's called the progressive period. It's, it's situated in, in history, what we refer to as the Gilded Age. This is the period at the end of the 19th century. We're headed into the 20th. We've got huge inequalities of wealth. Gilded is a word that means like something's covered, right? So Mark Twain coined this phrase, the Gilded Age, that um, he, he referred to it as gilded because on the surface, everything looked great, right? You have Carnegie and Rockefeller and um, Vanderbilt, just all these people with extravagant wealth and extravagant homes. But if you scratch the surface of that, they have all these things because millions and millions and millions and millions of people have nothing. And so this is, this is that era in history. And for women, what we're gonna talk about in the progressive period is the reform that they get involved in. Now we saw reform before the Civil War. And at that point we said, there's not a whole lot of people that are participating in reform. We looked at um, moral reform in the context of prostitution and in uh, mental health asylums. We talked about temperance. We looked at abolition and the women's rights movement. And this, outline. Um, if you are a middle or upper class woman, you're involved in reform. Um, and that is across uh, racial lines too, we'll see. So um, first we're going to start off with this new woman. And you're going to look at some images to see what makes her new. You're going to see uh, particularly um, her, her activities, riding a bicycle. She's out in public spaces in ways that we didn't see before. And what you wanna think about when you look at the Gibson girl is think back to those images we looked at uh, from, from Godey's ladies book, kind of makes, try to make some comparisons there. And then uh, we're gonna look at women's activism in four different ways. We're gonna talk about the clubs. We'll look at the Women's Christian Temperance Union. This is a continuance of the temperance movement that we saw before the Civil War. Uh, we're going to look at the Settlement House Movement, which is largely uh, orchestrated by uh, Jane Addams and those women that she gets to work with her. And then we're going to talk about labor reform. And you're going to see what's going to be significant about labor reform is for the first time we're going to see women crossing, they won't cross racial lines, but they're going to cross um, class and ethnic lines. You'll, you'll see that in um, labor reform. There's a, a, a really good film that I got there for you on the Triangle Fire. All right, I'm looking over the key terms to make sure I haven't overlooked anything uh, in terms of introducing this outline. I think you're all set. Um, let me know if you've got any questions. Take care.